Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently there's been some strange things happening when I click on videos on YouTube. Uh, sometimes the uh, screen where the video plays is just black and then there's the play button and then when you refresh uh, the video will play or it does that simulated like uh, snow or no channel. I forget what the message is. Can't play and uh, for s some reason it was s some error and when I go to refresh it would start. So I someone updated something. I have um, Norton antivirus but uh, I decided to investigate or change over to uh, Firefox which I hadn't used in a while so that got updated but then when you go to play a video or there's some sort of related video say like on Adafruit you get this this strange green a tearing uh, green and purple smearing of where the video is supposed to be and you can go online and, and Google that and they say that it could be uh, drivers AMD drivers something like that I have a uh, this IBM or IBM this Lenovo T500 anyways it, it got me interested or investigating I, I, I was wondering what does Windows 10 go for these days because um, Probably like a lot of people out there, um, I was hesitant um, when they announced Windows 10 release and then they had that annoying message that Windows, uh, Microsoft was trying to get you to switch over to Windows 10. And then when that time lapsed, uh, maybe a couple of months after that, I sort of thought about it and then sort of regretted it a little bit that could have got a free upgrade. So anyways, uh, I just, you know, th that started this whole chain of, of events started and I ended up looking up the um, Windows 10 upgrade and lo and behold I find this sort of recent it's May 18 I think there's an article here that's saying that you can still I mean they're not advertising it yeah May 30th 2018 they're saying you can still upgrade to Windows 10 for free. That the wording uh, in the licensing in some areas was so vague. I didn't read the whole article, but I just it piqued my interest. I said, well, well let me give it a try. Um, and let's see, Microsoft yeah, officially ended the Windows 10 program. I forget what that was, almost two years ago now. Um, November, th Microsoft quietly announces end of last free. Okay, so November 3rd of 2017. So, oh, the air conditioning's going on. I'm not going to turn it off because it's hot. Um, I'll talk louder. How to upgrade grade from Windows 10 Home to, maybe I will turn it down. Hold on. Yeah, so anyways, um, I started the process somewhere here. There's the link. And this guy mentions, the, the, the person that wrote the article, that he was surprised too. Um, yeah, anyways, you just, you just click on this Download Windows 10 in this uh, ZDNet article here. If you just Google um, Windows 7 Upgrade to 10... And you download this tool here. Now there was a little bug, uh, not a bug, there was a little uh, hiccup and it seems to be progressing. I got to this point before and what it told me was that there was the restore recovery program was not compatible. Uh, I needed to um, agree to have that uh, removed. And then it asks you to confirm this Windows Media Center is uh, installed on this PC, uh, will be uninstalled. So uh, I selected the, go, you know, I agreed to removing the Restore Recovery Program. And it went ahead and did that, but when it, uh, it had to restart, and when it came back to restart, it didn't, it, uh, the hard drive, I had a lot of activity here. 
on the symbol for the hard drive was just spinning and spinning and spinning. And then when I went to look at the, uh, was it the task manager or whatever, there's, uh, there was nothing going on. There was nothing running. So I went to the link again and downloaded this, initiated it again, the Windows 10 setup. And it has removed that selection for the recovery and restore program. That has been successfully removed. And I just need to confirm that the Windows... Uh, Media Center will be uninstalled during the upgrade. So I'm just going to confirm that. And so now I, I'm now a step further than I was the last time. So right now I'm at ready to install and install Windows 10 Pro, keep personal files and apps change uh, what to keep I might want to look at that but yeah uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, keep personal files and apps okay that should cover everything there's really nothing on here that um, if it doesn't work out um, I'll regret doing so install and we'll see what happens installing Windows 10 your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. So I'll get back to you and see what what's going on here. All right. It was at 76%. I came back in about an hour it took uh, to get to this point where it's shutting down. So we'll see what happens when it comes back up. So you can see there that I'm currently running Windows 7 Professional. All right. It's booting back up. Working on updates. Okay, so it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get to this point. I think there might be several more restarts. Then there was a half hour before that where I had to download the Microsoft uh, program again and start over. So let's see where this is going leading to okay it was just restarting i'm only at 30 percent on the updates okay so it's taking about an hour and a half to get at this 98 percent of working on updates step and we're at 100 percent okay i recognize that So this is now Windows 10, like I have on the Optiplex. So I guess my password's the same. Let me check it out. Okay, there's still more updates to apply. Like this message. It's like the message you get from YouTube that your video's in the queue. Almost there. So let's see, I just accept. Welcome to the best, welcome to the best windows ever. Now, it didn't ask me for a software license, so if you have a legitimate copy of Windows 7, it looks like you can still upgrade to Windows 10. Okay, so I've had Windows 10 Pro installed on this uh, Lenovo T500 for a couple of days, and I already had a glitch the uh, following day when I uh, turned on the computer. On the laptop, uh, the operating system booted up and everything seemed to be working. But then when I went to open up uh, Google, we got it in the toolbar there. The toolbar was not responding. And uh, I think that's a common problem. I don't know if that's after a brand new installation because I haven't had it, uh, haven't had the problem since. But if you Google that, 
um, it says that you had to restart Windows Explorer. So I did that, and then the next day did not have a problem. So uh, that seems to have resolved itself, and that's about it. Um, it only removed, I think, two Lenovo prior, uh, uh, proprietary pieces of software. Other than that, everything is the same on the laptop. Uh, all the applications that I had uh, or have on there are the same. Nothing's changed. Um, I was looking at, I thought maybe there was a problem with the minimum requirements, but... Uh, this, this laptop meets the minimum requirements or exceeds the minimum requirements for, let's see, minimum requirements, one gigahertz or faster processor, one gigabyte of RAM for 32-bit or two gigabytes for 64-bit, hard drive space, 16 gigabytes for 32-bit operating system and 20 gigabytes for a 64-bit operating system and uh, DirectX. Uh, graphics card direct X or later with WDDM 1.0 driver and an 800 by 600 display. But yeah, so I was surprised. I mean, given other circumstances, I would have felt more comfortable purchasing Windows uh, from Microsoft. And we can go take a look at what that would have cost me. So you can see here Windows 10 Pro is $199.99. The Home Edition is $119.99. So I don't know why to this date um, we still have this convoluted system of uh, Windows licenses being available. I don't, I don't know if, uh, you know, it's all over the map with some of these prices and uh, a little wary of, of the licenses if they're just extra seats from business licenses for these um, for this software so I, I would I would have purchased it directly from Microsoft not even from Amazon so you can see here under system information I've got the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro installed and this is Lenovo the T500 and the processor is the Intel Core 2 Duo CPU P8700 running at 2.53 gigahertz. And let's see, the actual physical memory installed is 3 gigabytes. So if you didn't know, like me, that you can still upgrade to Windows 10 for free, and you found this video helpful and informative, please subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching. And I'll leave a link to this article in the description.